Morning guys and welcome back to I Like Our Watches 2. Now in this video, I think anyway, I'm going to be showing you a really interesting watch. I picked it up from eBay. It was an auction listing and when I saw it on eBay, I did a double take and I just thought I've got to bid on this thing and win it to show you guys. I do spend quite a lot of time on eBay and Chrono24 and lots of other places looking for lesser known interesting watches and brands to learn about, to share with you guys. And yeah, I've stumbled across this Seiko Alba. Alba is a sub brand of Seiko. I initially thought it was a JDM only brand, so only available for the Japanese domestic market. But according to their website, they're popular in the Middle East and in Asia. So yeah, I've managed to pick one up in the UK. It's from the 1990s and the owner, well, has never worn it. It came on this awesome looking stainless steel bracelet, but they also supplied it with this awesome red looking silicon strap so yeah in this video i just want to share what i've got and um yeah i think it'd be interesting to look at right let's head over to the light box right and here it is this is how it's turned up in a seiko kinetic watch box it's not the right packaging obviously um, but still nice that it has turned up in a watch box it did come with its hang tag alba aka i think that is the range of watches this is the model number down here ajn 005p 100 meters of water resistance a few more details on the back there, including the caliber inside this watch. At the bottom, it says $420. Someone's written it on there in pen. I wonder if that was the original price. I strongly suspect not. I have looked on the website, actually, for this watch or this range of watches, and I couldn't see it. It is from the 1990s, so almost certainly discontinued. And the listing um, when I bought it said it was quite rare and well, I suspect it probably is. Now, one of the reasons I did a double take when I saw the listing on eBay was, I guess, because of the bright, vibrant red colours. So a very clever move by the seller to put it on this silicon strap. This is obviously a new modern silicon strap, no details on the buckle. Um, but yeah, I just think it looks really, really good. The colour matches the dial really, really well. I will definitely be popping it on this um, stainless steel bracelet in a moment. Now, there's an interesting dot in the middle of the crystal. It just sort of obscures your view to the center of the hands. Um, maybe they don't look very good, so they've um, <laughs> covered, covered the view with this red dot. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, it's just a cool-looking watch, isn't it? Um, let me press, press some buttons and see what happens. Um, start... Yeah, that works. Uh, seconds down here and a sort of sub seconds dial at the top there. It looks like your minutes at the nine o'clock. Stop and reset. Yeah, that works nicely. Although the hands look slightly misaligned. I'm pretty sure I saw in the instructions online you can realign those hands. So I might have a go at that. I'm also going to um, move the time forward because it looks like, yeah, it was in the middle of a date change. So I'm just going to check that works. Um, let's go once more. Yep, the date change function works nicely. Um, I think it's an interesting looking dial, isn't it? Lots going on. Um, it looks like there's some looms. I'll test that in a minute. These sub dials look like they are countersunk. Um, really nice color red in the center and a sort of, well, orangey red. Um, chapter ring uh, around the outside um, cool square sub dials um, what does it say on the dial aka chronograph 10 bar alba and here's the case back um, yeah it looks pretty good there are a few scratches on it look um, i suspect it has spent a little bit of time out of its box um, what have we got down here water resistant 10 bar stainless steel um, v657 What's that 60, 80 or 60, 30 there? Not too many signs of wear or tear on the case. A few little micro scratches, um, but really not much at all. Um, interesting bezel as well. There is some brushing underneath. Look at that. And then you've got um, a couple of high polished facets on top of the bezel. Again, it looks to be in pretty good condition. A few small signs of where maybe um yeah these watches when they're 20 years old they do get handled um it may have been sold and resold um, and passed on from person to person over the years so um although it doesn't look like it spent much time on a wrist um there are going to be a few signs 
um, of it being handled I guess and here's the bracelet I think it's pretty much the same story here a few very light sort of marks and signs of the watch being handled or maybe even worn but um, yeah not very much at all I suspect um, these elements are quite interesting aren't they they look um, well completely untouched actually it just looks like the odd little mark on the clasp um, but yeah, I really like the bracelet. It is um, not a solid bracelet. You know, it's one of those sort of cheap folded um, bracelets. This is obviously an affordable sub-brand by Seiko. Um, but also, back in the 90s, I suspect this sort of construction was far more common. Um, so yeah, I guess it can be forgiven. But it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I really like these. Right, here it is then on my roughly average seven and a quarter inch-ish wrist on the silicon strap. I will run through some dimensions, the weight. I'll also test the crystal in a moment. But yeah, I just want to show you this watch on my wrist first. Um, I just think this thing looks really, really cool excellent sort of side profile bit of domage to that crystal um, nice distortion as well um, yeah and the polishing seems pretty good actually seems nice and bright and I think it really really suits this red silicon strap um, I suspect it's a fairly affordable silicon strap but it definitely does the job um, yeah very very cool but this, I think, is even cooler. Um, this is exactly how the watch would have been sold on this uh, bracelet. Now, I think it's very, very cool. But for some reason, the red strap, I think, just complements the dial that little bit more. And um, although this bracelet does look very funky, um, yeah, I think I probably prefer it on the silicon strap, actually. Um, but still, what an awesome little bracelet. Very, very comfortable. It's not too heavy. Um, yeah, let me run through some of the dimensions now for you guys. Now, I don't think it looks too big, um, but that might be a bit of an optical illusion with this bezel. So I'm going to measure the bezel now. That is 37 millimeters. And the case is, well, just over 39. So yeah, actually not too bad at all. Thickness, including the crystal, 13.4. Case length is just under 44. And the lug width is 18. On the steel bracelet it now weighs 104 grams now the crystal i'll be amazed if it's sapphire crystal given this is an affordable range of watches by seiko um yeah no reading on the diamond selector too so that will be well either hard lex or mineral and there it is with the case back off um considering this is well seemingly a 20 year old watch that looks pretty tidy um some details of the movement there japan v657a a battery change shouldn't be too difficult um yeah screw down case back so very nice right let me show you how to align all the hands up to the 12 o'clock position because at the moment while well, they're all over the place i've messed them up on purpose if you pull the crown out to the second position you adjust the hand on the 12 o'clock subdial with the button at the two o'clock position. Let me just keep pressing that. There we go. To adjust this one, it's this button, but um, we also want to realign the minutes hand. So in order to do that, we are gonna have to keep our thumb on this button. And as you can see, it is connected to the minutes at the nine o'clock position. There we go. Push the crown back in and all of the hands are pointing in the right direction. Well, what an awesome watch. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits to have stumbled across this little beauty on eBay. Um, I think I probably will look at their website and maybe pick up a watch, a recent watch. I mean, this watch is over 20 years old, so um, not a true reflection of what they have to offer today. Uh, but yeah, if this is anything to go by, I suspect, um, yeah, their watches are going to be pretty good value. Um, so yeah, look out for some content on maybe a new Alba watch in the near future. Um, right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think of this watch. Um, yeah, I'm curious to know what you think. Very, very cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching.